Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to talk about how a particle reacts when it comes upon either a barrier, a temporary barrier like we have in case 3, or an increase in the potential, like a step up in the potential that it must overcome. So in that case, there's two possibilities. One case where the energy of the particle is greater than the potential of the step, it will continue on, but, or, it may even get reflected. It turns out there's a possibility of reflection, there's a possibility of transmission, but if the particle does get transmitted, it will end up with a longer wavelength because it has lost some of its energy in that respect by converting it to a longer wavelength. In essence, the velocity will be slower, will result therefore in a longer wavelength. In case two, if the energy of the particle is less than the energy of the step, you would say, well, then there's no way the particle can continue past this point will simply get reflected. In the classical sense, 100% of the particles will be reflected. But what we, what we see in the quantum mechanical world is that some particles have a small probability that they will continue into that barrier, into that step, for a certain distance. Exponentially, the probability will go down to zero eventually, but it's possible to find some particles on the other side of the boundary, which normally would not be po possible in the classical world, and so we'll have to calculate how far they will penetrate and what the probability will be at the various points. A third possibility is that there's a barrier, but the barrier is of a finite width. And because of that, if the energy of the particle is less than the potential of that barrier, normally, again, you would expect none of them to penetrate, but if the barrier is thin enough, the particle could potentially make its way through and continue on the other side. So there would be a transmission on both boundaries and would continue on the other side, but some of the energy would have been lost, as you see the exponential decay here as it's trying to penetrate the boundary. Now, or the barrier. But again, not all particles will do that. The vast majority of particles will be reflected, but some particles have a probability of making it through the barrier, or at least part way or completely through, depending upon the thickness of the barrier and the energy of the particle. So we're going to explore what happens in these various cases, where the energy is greater than the potential of the step, where the energy of the particle is less than the potential of the step, and where the energy of the particle is smaller than the potential of the barrier, but if it's of a finite width, it could potentially tunnel through that barrier, and so you'll see some activity on the other side. In either case, in each case, we're going to figure out how to calculate the reflection and the transmission, which will be possible in all three cases. Sure enough, there will be some reflection here, even though the energy of the particle is greater than the potential of the step, There'll be some reflection and transmission here, even though the energy is not as large as the potential of the step. And here there'll be some tunneling, and we'll figure out the transmission as well as the reflection in that case as well. So that's what's in store for us for, se for, the, uh, for several of the videos to come. So stay tuned if you're interested in this topic.